they had Einstein bots and again, Einstein bots are great, but I think with generative AI, it goes actually a step further. Hey everyone, I am very excited to have Gaurav Khetrapal with us from Venshift Technologies. And Gaurav is a thought leader, pretty much known around the globe. And I've always been inspired by his in-depth understanding. I don't know how many certifications he has, but what I really like is his humility and very plain spoken way of talking about complex topics. And it's really a very fortunate thing that Gaurav is part of Enterprise Dreaming this year. And he's one of our speakers where he's talking about service cloud and AI. So Gaurav, what can the viewers expect from this session that you're doing? Yeah, thanks, Saurabh. And first of all, like, thank you for this opportunity to be a part of Enterprise Dreaming. I think it's the first of its kind event, and I'm hoping it's the first of many that, that the team does in future. So I think it's no surprise that AI has kind of, it's been around for a while, but in the last few months, ever since like chat GPT and open AI have kind of picked up pace, I think it's kind of revolutionized the way not just businesses are operating, but also the way like we work in general. So I see a lot of good opportunity when it comes to leveraging AI specifically for the service industry, specifically for service cloud. Tremendous and Salesforce is coming up with, with service GPT as well. But in terms of some of my thoughts, like again, there is tremendous opportunity when we talk about service cloud, there is obviously everything is revolves around case management. And I feel like AI and GPT can actually be a game changer for how cases are handled in terms of improving the deliverables from cases in terms of things like intelligent case deflection, case routing, being able to measure the, the productivity of service agents, and also being able to personalize the whole new service experience. So those are some of the initial thoughts I have in terms of how AI can really help leverage service. Yes, that's a really good point. I think. The trend that we've also noticed, because we, we are talking to a lot of customers due to GPT-5, which is our app exchange there for integrating chat GPT type capability into Salesforce. And what I've found that particularly with service cloud customers is that, you know, in the last couple of years due to COVID and everything else, there has been a lot of attrition, a lot of movement, and you have, you know, service workers who are just literally showing up and there is a great need to onboard them quickly to have operationalized as much as you can. And the costs are rising, CSATs, maintaining CSAT is always a challenge. So how do you do all that and how do you utilize artificial intelligence and generative AI to reduce the amount of grant work? How do you cut, you know, when you call and an agent looks up your account and it takes them a couple of minutes to actually understand before they can respond back, how do you reduce that is one of those areas that we are seeing a lot of traction in. What has been your observation in this space? Absolutely. I think it needs to move to a model which is like self-sufficient and self-service driven. And that is where like the AI capabilities come in. So even with Salesforce, like again, they have this, they had Einstein bots and again, Einstein bots are great. But I think with generative AI, it goes actually a step further, like rather than predicting and, and learning from those predictions, I think having Generative AI capabilities is, is I think it kind of eliminates the human dependencies a little bit more, which is always good. And at the same time, like, as I said, personalization. So for example, being able to, being able to look up a customer's past history and then being able to derive some intelligence out of those trends. I think that is, that is a massive opportunity there as well. So. Very, very well put. And it's funny because one of the things that surprised me is how widespread is the footprint of service cloud, right? Because, you know, other industry specific clouds are still relatively newer on, on the Salesforce ecosystem, but service cloud has been around forever. So whether it's healthcare, financial services, high tech, automotive manufacturing, like you name a sector, public sector, you name any industry and you, you find that service cloud is permeated them all and it's an incredible product, ton of capabilities. So. I think what AI brings to that product is going to be fascinating. Absolutely. And as you rightly said, like it cuts across industries, like again, financial services, manufacturing, retail, government. And I think that's also one of the reasons Service Cloud is actually the number one selling product for Salesforce for several years. It's not just now, but I think ever since they introduced the product, I think 
it is kind of like the red order for sales force. And again, I think it all comes down to the fact that no matter whether you are on an e-commerce card or whether e-commerce store or whether you are doing a financial transaction, things will sometimes go wrong. And then that's where the service component comes in. And also if things do not go wrong, there is always like you want the customer to have the best experience. And the one of the ways to do that is is provide good service. So it could be even simple things like knowledge articles. It could be, as I said, like customer checks in terms of the overall customer experience. All those things, I, I think those kind of add up to the, the value proposition of Service Cloud. And again, those are all areas which are kind of good wins when, when you leverage AI. Absolutely. Very well put. Well, I cannot wait to see, Gaurav, what you, know, you and our other speakers are going to bring to Enterprise Dreaming. And particularly this session, very excited about it. So thank you so much for, you know, giving the time and sharing your insights and experience with the rest of the Ohana. Yeah, likewise, Saurabh. Thank you for having me and looking forward to presenting at Enterprise Dream. Everyone looking forward to it and hope you all get a chance to join us in the session. It's on the 23rd of August and see you there. Check out for more details on enterprisedreamin.org. Thank you so much.